I'm Christina, and we're the Gorgeous Geeks, and we're here today to talk about Smallville Season 7. You picked and voted, and, and we picked, and uh, now we have some results. Okay, this was another not great season. A lot of people didn't like the fact that Supergirl was on the show. Well, Period. I... Well, the one thing was she could fly. Clark, Clark couldn't. That was terrible. It, it also seemed like they really didn't know how to use Kara. And yeah. anyone who debates that, look at how she exited off the show in season 10. And um, Lana was going off the deep end with her crazy. Well, this the whole storyline was kind of weird. She was like, how can you... You can't do that. You can't plan your death and the government... It's, 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 you can't do that. <laughs> you can't, you can't I don't understand how you can. Why they then, need to then, do tit then, for tat stuff? And then she I took mean, his money. She, she took, took Lex's money. She killed um, the Teague woman before. Lex and Lionel know about it. If you really want to force somebody to do something, how about that murder charge right there? There you go. Blackmail. Boom. Yeah, I mean, it was just. It was kind of weird. She's like, you cloned me, so I planned. My dad. On the clone thing was weird it too. Was, it was. It was. It was really. I'm like, wow. Why would you make that many Lana? I just feel like she just took all his dignity, and I don't understand season, how. Is this the season where she had the videotape and she was like, "Goodbye, Clark. I have to leave." Yes, this was that season. Oh. And then later on, she said Lex had a gun to my head. Well, in the next season, yeah, you find out. She's like, Lex had a gun in my head. I would never. I was like, wow, because that was actually like I applauded Lana for actually yeah. I'm like, oh, was, being a big I'm like, girl. That was, I'm like, that was really noble. That was very her. noble, but yeah, it wasn't noble because she yeah. said I wasn't noble. I had a gun to my head. Yeah, and one <laughs> so one of the crazy episodes was, was Wrath. I mean, because uh, uh, they had a she got Clark's powers. Well, they had they used lightning storm power transfer before but this time it's different because Clark didn't lose his powers and so they could both super shack and yeah. that's what she they, they did she like pounced on him and said no Clark we're, we're gonna do this and they made trimmers which at the time I'm like oh, that's what him and Wonder Woman are supposed to do after Lois dies <laughs> <laughs> you have no <laughs> right Lana <laughs> and the Dark Knight returns she attacks Lex and at the end of the episode Clark, Clark is basically like, I did this to you, Lana, and she's like, you know what, it's your fault because you painted this image of me, and don't you look at me like I did something wrong, because honey, you always were looking at me with some lenses that could you could see out of, and I'm just who I am. He's just like, I, my lies have changed you. She's just like, <laughs> It's like he doesn't listen. He's both not even listening them, to her. Both of them, both of them had love goggles on. Period. Okay, your favorite episode. It was tied. Actually, yeah, it was between Split. Apocalypse and the other one was Siren, Siren, which was the first appearance of Black Canary, and I liked that episode. I really did. I thought. First of all, I had never really thought about Black Canary's costume in real life. I'm like, that's what that looks like in real life? I'm like, but that is what it looks like in real life. Like, wow. Like, those are some cute fishnets. But, and even uh, when we were at Superman Celebration, Elena Huffman was like, I have to wear that? I have children. <laughs> you know, but I thought she did a great job. I loved her being on there. I think a lot of people really did. I think a lot of people yeah. liked and her. I'm, I'm disappointed that she wasn't in more there at the end and there wasn't a certain resolution between her and Oliver, which I guess they kind of leave it open. Well, he Very did. much, very much for but you somebody to did make interpret. The point that he did. Somebody did have the point that they did he did Oliver did have two of the kids before he married that, that still might not have been I know uh, I don't know but anyway it's it's like it's so like I don't feel it's like really open but you just have to have a lot of interpretation for the little space they gave you I love Black Canary I, I love that she was on there. I just I just loved everything about it she was so cool she was so cool and it was episode. even funny that she said something to Oliver about his taste in women um with, cause he was dating Lois, but you know, it's they're supposed to, totally supposed to be together, and so they did it. That was one character I enjoyed their interpretation of. Yeah. As far as Apocalypse, I I always do like when TV shows do alternate reality. Oh, episodes. I do too. Because like anything can go, and you know, in them, and it's always interesting seeing how people are different, and you know, and I always enjoy you know an evil Lex. 
Evil Lex is good. You saw a bit more Clovis because, you know, they didn't have that, I don't know, odd tension that they had on the farm. You know, it was just like, oh, she was swept off by this feet by the Superman who just, you know, saved her. And uh, and he kind of looked like, yeah, you know, there's could be, like, he looked at her, she looked at him, their smiles bound. Uh, Lex had Kara there, and um, he was about to, Bradyak was playing them all, was about to destroy them all with some nukes, and uh, Clark was thinking, you know, would life be better without me? Like, um, oh, it's a, it's wonderful, a wonderful life. life. But they did it well. I, I liked it. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, it was, it was a good episode. Um, there's not a lot of positives to the season for me, unfortunately. Dean Kane is a positive, though. But a lot of people didn't like the episode Cure. Okay, a lot of people didn't like the episode... I love Dean Kane. period. I'm like... And mm -hmm. and I felt bad for him at the end of it. I was like, why didn't you let him kill Chloe? Just let him have <laughs> his love. Just let him have his love. I love, love you, Dean. <laughs> like, come on. My love won't fade. I don't care how old like, you Chloe get. Doesn't I don't have care to be on, way I Chloe doesn't you. have to be on the show. <laughs> that's what I was thinking. Yeah, I felt so thing. bad for him. That's another thing. She has these powers... She she did pay a price when it was she saved Lois and then she pronounced that she came back so I guess she was afraid she used them she's gonna like die die but she seemed so eager to get rid of something that's so convenient and that kind of baffled me in a way like Clark didn't want her to use her powers because he was afraid it would end up hurting her and she get hurt then but it just seemed like why is this a thing you need to get oh, rid of just... like she felt like such a freak and she was afraid to tell Jimmy about it. And, uh, it was weird. It was, I mean, the whole thing was weird. Not, it's also weird that they never brought it back up. To, at the yeah, end. after this and is over. It was just, after this is over. You know. And then she, 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 next season, weird. she gets a new power. <laughs> like I said, I'm, it's like, it's like Chloe, just like, something needs to happen, let's make Chloe do it. That's how, that's how, that's what Chloe, Chloe became the filler character to me. That's how she became to me. And yeah, I, there's it's, something they want to do, they give to Chloe. I mean, some people, most people just bring on new characters, but, uh. <laughs> Um, uh, but Cure, a lot of people voted that as the worst, but that wasn't the worst. The, the, the worst, worst one episode was Action, which I disagree, and I'll tell you why I disagree later. Not that I said, not that I'm saying I like the episode. No, I this just, episode was bad. No, it was bad. It's like, who cares that Christina Milian is on this episode? Yeah, and, and it was... It's just not good. It wasn't. You have this crazy fan that loves War Angel that... It's like man, it's it. Don't, I heard someone make the case that it seemed like the writers are poking fun at a uh, hardcore comic book people, because <laughs> this person was so dedicated to the I think the comic book, mm -hmm. and it was in a, in a way I wonder if they were making poking fun at people who were like Smuggle has to be like the comic books and mm -hmm. maybe 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 not I don't know, um but that's not why it was bad um the scene in particular that um was just like I can't believe this, you know, made it past edit, was when Lana, Lana got thrown off the building and Clark caught her and while they're falling down her her hair is like defying gravity. gravity, like it's just like and it's, it's not, straight. it's not going up, like like all you need to do is get a little fan behind her I know! I know that bugged me so much. Like I, I know people. I was make, like, oh, he's I know his people, favorite. I, like, I know people what? make screw ups like that. Um, even on film, but that seemed like they wanted it to be like another iconic thing, for, at least for that couple. They should. We wouldn't have noticed. Thing. I know some people are like, well, why are you complaining about that? We wouldn't have noticed it if they didn't have that whole part in slow motion. It was like in slow motion, and you're just watching Lana go, <sighs> and her hair is just back, and it should be. Lord. I don't know. It was just it was it was so focused on that. It was our, weird. our friend Chris drew a picture of Clark holding Lonnie. He's like, I saved you, and her neck is broken. <laughs> yeah. He's like, smashed the car. And, yeah, it was um, funny. Who takes care of all that property damage? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. So that was that was just not a, a good episode. And then she's then Christina Milian found out about Clark, or whatever, and tried to give him a cake. And then he just kind of just like a left it a, like a blanket. Yeah, it was kind of it was just a blanket, and he kind of just left it like. I don't want this. It like he it kind of seemed like he was really not going forward, or trying to. I, I don't know. He it, maybe that's where why Jarrell froze him like a popsicle. <laughs> I 
I don't know. And, and Bizarro. Leaving room for Bizarro. See, that also didn't make sense. I understand Drell wanting to punish Clark, but freezing him up like that, it just seems like... I don't know, it doesn't seem like a real punishment. It seems like, you know what, Just I'm going to put you aside because you suck forever. <laughs> That's what this seems like. I didn't like the Bizarro Clark fight didn't last at all. Yeah. And I didn't like... <laughs> Did you love how Lana was like, I, I've never been more in love than with this Clark. She couldn't even tell. I, uh, she, that wasn't really Clark. Yeah, she, she's like, I, I, she's like, I couldn't even, I've never been more in love and Clark's just all sad and stuff and Bizarro Clark's like, yeah, and then she just kills him. <laughs> and as he's dying, he still says, I love you. And it's just a mess. Yeah, it was, it was crazy. I'm like, you, she didn't even reckon, realize that it wasn't you and, and you're still tripping up over this girl. It was, it was just odd. I didn't, I didn't like that as well. But what else did it, what else did Lana tried like? to do the ISIS Foundation thing? She started that, but it was you know a, a really just a rouge to um, a lot of it was to spy on Lex, mm -hmm. and uh, Chloe Chloe stepped up and kind of said you know I don't like you with Clark right now. Yeah, I was glad she did that. Um, but another really bad episode, which I'm sorry guys, should have been the worst and maybe one of the worst episodes of Smallville ever in existence was Hero, and I was good, it's good to see Pete Ross again, returning to the show. Oh, Stride Gum. But it seemed, yeah, it seemed like Stride Gum was like, you know what, we want to sponsor you this show, and their Smallville's like, well, we could make a whole ep episode, how much are you going to give us? <laughs> and they're like, we'll give you this stack of gum. There's and so like, well, many we'll go things. First of all, there's this... I mean, One Republic is... I love One Republic. That was the only good yeah. thing of the episode. I love One Republic. Absolutely love them. That was the only good thing. But when people have concerts and there's no security around, people wander. They wander around, they wander around the building. They go in different spaces. People like to hook up and stuff like that. So there's this big room stacks, right next to the concert. Stacks of gum. Stacks of gum. And he is the only one that stole a piece of gum. Not anybody else decided to go in that room and, and steal a piece of gum. That's crazy. Are you kidding me? People would love to steal gum. That gum wouldn't even, it'd be gone. And then the fact, it was, as soon as it was out your mouth, you know, you lose your powers, which does not seem... It, it, and then he wanted Pete because, because Pete had the powers. powers. Magic and not, you know... And, like then, the and, then, and then, yeah, and then, and then, Lex wanted Pete because Pete had those powers, which the source of the powers are right there. Right, I know! It was right there. It's Why the gum? And then the gum. When Pete thinks he's so confident and stuff, all they gotta do is put, take the gum out your mouth and all that, that's happened. They punch him and it fell out of his mouth. Uh, the only thing that was probably good was the fact that, um, at the end, Pete was like, well, I'm gonna have to be a hero some other kind of way. So, to me, that alluded yeah, his political future. Exactly. Yeah, another bad episode was fierce when you car entered that pageant. Oh, we saw Ava. Eva. E Is it Eva or Ava? Eva. Yeah, who Eva Diva. American Next, Next, Top, Top, Model. Next Top Model. And it was it was good to see her in a part, you know. But um, well, all she really did was model. Yeah, well, she was but, a but bad I still guy. I, I like Eva Pickford. I was glad she won the contest. So it was cool seeing her again. But there was just it was, that episode wasn't good at all. It was just kind of like we want to see Cara in a bathing suit. Let's find a way, you know, to put her in a bathing suit. Yeah, because they don't have Lois in enough outfits already. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and Lois, she started you know working at the Daily Planet this season, and she was dating that guy Grant who ended up being a clone of Lex's dead brother and Lex found out and by the time Lex found out and Lex Grant found out and they wanted to be brothers he was shot dead in the street yeah so I guess you know that that was interesting um it's just clone galore the next season it starts to pick up it starts to pick up and, it, and to me like after the previous ones like it was one of the you know I, I love, I love, 8 and 9 are my favorite seasons, so I, I'm excited to talk about season 8. And it's so good, because Sam Whitworth's in there, and you got to interview him. Check that video out if you haven't seen it already, if you haven't heard the interview. She interviewed him for about a half an hour, Sam Whitworth, who played Davis Bloom, a.k.a. Doomsday. And 
I guess that's it. That's it. So go on GorgeousGeeks.com and vote for your favorite and your least favorite episode, best and worst episode of Smallville Season 8. Anyways, I'm Katrina. I'm Christina. And, and we're, we're the Gorgeous Geeks. Geeks.